Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. Today we're going to talk about deadlifts. I have successfully deadlifted 705 pounds. We're going to talk some basic programming. If you're stuck in your deadlift, you want to lift more weight, build a little bit of muscle along the way, be sure to stay tuned, subscribe, turn on notifications. It helps so much. I'm Solid Mike, 3SB.co for all your clothing needs. Welcome to the video. Let's build our deadlift. Set a goal, set a plan to get you there, and then execute day in and day out. With the deadlift in particular, most people, the vast majority, can handle more weight than they can any other lift. So that's a factor that comes into intensity and frequency when training. The systemic fatigue, it's not that deadlifts drain your CNS or all these nerd talks that you guys are always talking about. I can't deadlift heavy twice a week, my CNS. Really all it comes down to is that you're handling more weight there. So if you're a 500 pound deadlifter and you only squat 315, one, we gotta figure that shit out. Two, you're obviously moving 500 pounds is going to tire you out more than 315. It has nothing to do with the deadlift and your central nervous system frying. So what's worked for me in the past with myself and the thousands of clients I worked with is one to two days a week deadlifting. Now, I highly suggest we're doing some type of hinge twice a week. Now, that doesn't mean we have to deadlift, but that probably means we have to do like an RDL, a hamstring based movement, maybe even a good morning, depending on where you sit in your off season competition cycle. But deadlifting twice a week has given me and thousands the best chance to be successful. So when we're talking about variations in those two days. The further out you are from a meet, we can probably throw in variations for both those days. A lot of the variations I really enjoy and I think work best for deadlift are so specific that it won't throw off your whole groove. So on our heavy day, it's fine to throw in like an Ed Cohn style deadlift, which we've talked about on this video, you can go search it, but basically a very controlled, eccentric, um, a very light touch and go basically. Again, watch the video to refer. Uh, tempo, paused, um, even opposite stance if you're a sumo puller, pulling conventional if you're far out from a meet on your main day and really pushing, that's a great idea. And then on the opposite day, I, I don't see anything wrong with throwing in some chains, throwing in some bands, uh, really pushing your stiff leg or your RDL and doing heavy sets of three to five on that. Again, if we're using a variation on the main day, the overall load we'll be using will be less simply because it's a more difficult self-limiting variation, right? My, my competition is the max I can lift. Now doing a pause, a tempo, or an head cone, I'm forced to use less weight, which means if we use a variation on the other day and push it hard, we can handle more moderate weights in both. Once we start to handle the heaviest intensities on our main day, competition style, we're doing 85, 90, 95%, then I'd probably wanna lessen the load over here and work on that speed, that control, or just uh, lighter reps. So we're not using max loads on both days, just for recoverability purposes. Beyond that, the beauty of powerlifting and even just uh, the human body is that everything we do for squats also helps and applies to our deadlift. Stronger quads, stronger hamstrings, a stronger upper back. We've talked about building a big back on here, refer to that video. That helps a ton in the overarching picture of deadlifting. Again, in the short term, it's about programming and controlling that fatigue and intensity with our variations. Big arcing term, how strong and how much muscle can I build on my quads, on my hams, on my lats, on my cakes. The bigger cakes you got, the bigger deadlift you're gonna have. Note it down. So when we're talking about what a week may look like, I would typically spread it out as evenly as possible, right? So if we're deadlifting on Tuesday is our comp day, um, maybe pull on like a Friday or a Saturday for your accessory day. Day one and wave one might look like a one by one RPE seven, a nice decent single. The stronger you get, the more you understand how to really push those singles and what an RPE nine and 10 really feels like. So in the beginning, don't, don't be worried about pushing yourself a little bit. You don't want to overshoot all the time, but it's okay to push yourself. After that, I might do like a three by three, dropping 10% from the top, which will end up hopefully also like an RPE seven or eight. After that, I might even hit some light accessories. Uh, that might be, uh, it might be layered with your squat day, but if not, I might even do some dumbbell RDLs, some ha laying hamstring curls, and even some core afterwards, some Paul off presses, Copenhagen planks, and even some weighted crunches. Depending on what your entire week looks like, I could add lats to that day too. Uh, if you're a power lifter, you might have to squat and bench or, or, uh, on that same day, so it might make things a little bit difficult to fill that all in, and you might wanna do back on a different day. On our second day, our B workout of deadlifts, I might do something, let's say we're a little bit closer to competition or we wanna get better at the deadlift itself. I would do the standard competition deadlift again, 
I might do a five by three around 70% of your estimated one rep max, moving those with slightly less rest periods so we can keep fitness, keep fatigue, but still keep concentration on hitting each rep perfectly form and as fast as humanly possible, locking in our form, locking in our speed. After that, I'll probably start hammering my, my hammies even harder because now we got a couple days before we got to pull heavy again. I might do barbell RDLs or good mornings, sets of five to 10, really pushing the weight Pushing your accessories over time not only will help your strength, but help you build muscle on that, again, that big picture umbrella of how to get strong over the next year, five years, 10 years, because it's a long journey to build the muscle you want. After that, even some lunges, Bulgarians. Again, depending on what your squats and bench look like and how much accessories you can build into that. And hopefully that gives you a better idea of what deadlifting, programming in the big picture and small picture look like. If you enjoy these videos, man, please, Give this thing a thumbs up, it helps your boy so much. 3SB.co for all your clothing needs. This tee is available right now, but it will sell out. Everything we make is small batch. So once our clothing is gone, it is gone for good. No restocks, no hidden inventory, no fake marketing tricks. These shorts are my new favorite training. I'm about 200 pounds right now, 5'10". These are size large, I got XL on the top. They're just a thick sweatpant, but they fit perfectly. Wider leg holes so you can squat and move around comfortably with a perfect above the knee fit. Appreciate you guys so, so much. Salam Mike, we're out of here. We over me, be a part of something big in yourself. Catch you in the next one.